We'll start by having a look at the interface. The easiest way to do that is to open a file. I've got a folder on the desktop and we'll open this file here. So you can see that I have some tools down the side. It's called the toolbar. Underneath some of these tools there are small triangles. If I hold down on that triangle it will reveal the tools that are hiding under there. This toolbar can be moved and placed wherever I want on the screen and I can have it showing as two rows instead of just one. If I press the tab key the toolbars and other panels disappear freeing up workspace. As I select a tool across the top here reflects the options for that tool so if I was to crop something there are crop options there. If I was to move something there are move options. Over on the right here we have different panels. These panels are logically grouped so you can see here colour and swatches are grouped together but I can break those away. I can put them back by just dragging them. More about those later. But spend a bit of time to get to know the interface and become familiar with where different tools are. The main tools we're going to use are found in these first couple of options here. The Move tool, We'll be using the lasso and magnetic lasso tool to select things. We'll be cropping items. We'll be using the brush tools. We'll do some erasing of the background. We'll be using the text tool and the zoom tool. Now just a word about the zoom tool. First of all, you can see here that this picture in order to fill the screen is at 19 percent. The zoom tool has a plus sign on it. So if I hold down the zoom tool it zooms in on that part of the screen and tells me how much it's zoomed in. If I hold my alt key down it becomes a minus and I can zoom out. To quickly fill the screen I can do control zero. So I just hold the control key down and tap zero. Control one takes me to a hundred percent. Now I can't see all of the screen now so I can move as you would expect but I have this tool here and it allows me to grab the canvas and move it around. Now there's lots of shortcuts in Photoshop. I'm going to go back to the zoom tool. The shortcut to find the hand grabber is to hold the space bar down. So I can stay zoomed in, but just grab the hand grabber by holding the space bar down and then I'm back on the zoom tool. Hold the ALT key down to zoom out. Control 0 takes me back to filling the screen. And just a reminder, Control 1 to go to 100%. Of course, I could type in 200 here and press Enter, and that will take me to 200%.